we inherit at least 14 generations of trauma patterns and emotional scarring from our ancestors which are our family members that have come before us on all of our you know mom and dad sides all of that sort of thing so they've actually lived life and they've left patterns and things in the dna according to what they've gone through so everyone has different epigenetic cycles and things that they've got themselves because everyone's family members have gone through different things and so in our dna we've actually got triggers to what's happened in the past from our past family members so as an example this is a really cool way that i've just thought of to give you a bit of a metaphor into how that plays out for you so say when you are born you are given a vehicle so say you're given a car and it's like this is yours this is yours to drive you do have control somewhat of where you go and what you do with it you can turn the lights on on and off you can put your blinkers on you can set a destination and you go great this is excellent i want to set my destination to joy happiness fulfillment passion la like life living life to the max the fullest all the good things right that's where you want to take this vehicle yet they've already preset in the software of the car where like all of these different things so they've preset they've already driven this car they already know where there's perceived dangers and hazards and things like that right so they have actually programmed it in to avoid those things or what it thinks is unsafe what it thinks is an issue um so basically it is only programmed to keep you alive um so anything it thinks is not going to do that and is a perceived threat or dangerous it is not going to want you to go that way so if you can see a to b that is happiness that is where i want to go get me there go 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 the car and the programming from the past and all of the history makes that really hard to do because what happens is say we're driving on a highway and we are we have got our sights set on our destination but there's all these exits right and there's an exit that could be anxiety um where we want happiness right but we our programming in our software is to take the exit of anxiety because of the preconceived patterns that we've already got all of these things that have current already been predispositioned all of the emotional scarring all of the triggers that we've inherited right so we go down the anxiety exit and we're we're dealing with overwhelm we're dealing with all of these things and then we might get up get back on track and then take and the anger route and frustration and just pissed off route and get sort of tangled up in there and keep going and like all these detours and the the control is not a hundred percent ours we are being triggered we are being put in situations that we don't actually want however we are predisposed to it and so we've got that conscious consciously we know we what we want and we're trying but subconsciously all these things are at play so it's not just our willpower it's not just that we're not showing up or we're procrastinating procrastinating or we're lazy or we're broken it's the software but the good thing is that we've also got hardware and our hardware is who we truly are and we can reprogram the software we can change the program we can change the the settings so that we can set our goals to our happiness and not get caught up in all of the emotions and all of the beliefs that stop us and detour us around and around and around in circles i hope that makes sense because that's a really good reflection of the work i do i basically barrier off all of those exits all of those detours that do not serve you so you can set your car how you want it in the direction that you want and you can get it girl